Hello, my name is Charlie. Welcome to my new channel, The Cost of Living Lady. So, The Cost of Living Lady is all about me talking about money saving ideas and just guidance on what support is available for all different range of families with the cost of living crisis at the moment, which is just increasing and increasing and it doesn't look like it's gonna stop anytime soon. Um, so this is my first video. I want to talk about something that's really important to me and something that was suggested by one of my friends and I had no idea about it until I was told. Um, it's only just now starting to be publicised a bit more, but I still don't think enough people know about this. Um, you're probably going to see me looking down because I just want to make sure that the information is right that I'm putting on this video. I don't have a lot of time because I'm on day one of two of getting my boiler fixed um, and I've been rushing around cleaning. Um, so I don't have time to retake this video. So please bear with me if I trip over myself. I'm not going to be able to edit it, but I just thought it's more important that I just get the information out. Um, so hopefully no one cares too much. <laughs> um, so the KCC Emergency Fund is for people in Kent. So of course this video is going to go to people that are not in Kent. Um, just saying right now, if you don't live in Kent, please, I'm sure there are other alternatives to look at, um, like the KCC Emergency Fund. <laughs> so it's actually called KCC Home Essentials in a Crisis. And the things that they can help with are food, utilities, furniture, white goods, and clothing. And this is a discretionary payment. Um, the link I will put in the description below, um, but it does take some finding. When I went to look for it, I had to look for a little while just to find, make sure I was finding the right one and check with somebody. So that's why I've put the link um, below. <laughs> um, the criteria of support is if you're having serious difficulties managing your income due to an emergency or a crisis, or if you are returning to the community after living in supported housing, an institution or a care setting. So if you're moving from supported living into independent living, for example, you might have had all of your furniture provided whilst you were living in supported living. It might not have been your furniture, but now you're moving on to a more independent setting and you're finding that you're gonna need your own bed and you're gonna need perhaps um, curtains, um, bedding, cutlery, things like that. Um, and obviously you just don't always have a big pot of money to get all of that. So that's why um, KCC can help with that. So, <coughs> Some of the other criteria for support is that you have to be over 16 um, and you have to be on a means tested benefit, so like universal credit, uh, PIP, DLA, um, I don't know all of them, but they're just some examples. Um, and you also have to show that you have no access to savings or support from anybody else, or you can show that you've suffered a loss of income due to COVID-19. So for example, um, in February, me and my daughter had COVID, um, so, I usually work from home, but I couldn't work from home because she was with me because she's one. And if you try to work from home with a one-year-old, it does not work unless they are asleep. And if they don't sleep a lot, then you're not getting a lot of work done. So obviously your in income will fall from that. So KCC do not offer money. Um, they, offer mon um, they offer services that I have just mentioned. So food, utilities, furniture, but they would not directly offer money. And at the moment, because there is such a high demand um, for this service, even though it's still even not very well known, they are only offering support with food and utilities. Um, so with food, they would offer a gift voucher. So it can be 50 pound, 100 pound, 150. I've known it to go up to 500, but not recently because there is such a high demand. Um, so if you had one child and you're on your own, it's probably gonna be around 50 and then 100 for two children, but that's not exact. Please don't quote me on that, but that is how they would look at it if potentially if you were eligible um, and met the right criteria. Um, so with the gift cards, they offer Tesco or Asda. <clears throat> and my personal advice would be to go for Asda because Asda, I think, is cheaper than Tesco and you're going to get potentially more food and the things that you need um, with your 50 card, just a 50 pound card, just for example. Um, the gift cards are generic. They're just generic cards that you would be able to go into Asda and buy. So, for example, if you are really struggling with food, but you 
need a bit of bedding as well because they're not offering support with bedding and clothing at the moment you could take some advice from them about what food banks to go to and maybe get some of your food from there and then use a, your gift card for some bedding cutlery things like that that they're not currently offering support with from the um, crisis fund i'm not saying that everyone should do that it's just an idea of how to even benefit more from that grant from them um, so they can also help with emergency travel so if you were fleeing from a crisis situation, for example, with domestic abuse, you can apply and they'll be able to help you with that. Um, as long as it's public transport, um, they'll be able to uh, offer you support to get away from the situation that you want to. I'm gonna breathe. <laughs> I forget I'm not being timed. So, except in exceptional circumstances, they can only offer support three times in a year and those reasons have to be different reasons each time so this homosexuals in a crisis support scheme is not meant to be a permanent fix or a permanent solution they want to help you to be able to not manage your money but to find a solution a long-term solution to your crisis or to your decrease in income so yeah i just paused it there just needed to think i just wanted to make sure that what i was saying was right so they can only offer help three times in a rolling 12 month period so what they do is when they speak to you or if they award you any sort of allowance or support they will tell you other ways that you can get help and i do believe that everybody should listen to that read the email read whatever help there is just to help them in the long term because that's what what's that's what the staff are doing as part of their role they need to be support not just handing out short-term grants and gift cards they need to be supporting people so that they're not needing it again and not being in the position that they need to ask for support again on such a regular basis okay so ways that you can apply you can apply online through the link that i put in the description or you can go to your local citizen's advice or your local gateway um, and somebody will be able to support you to do the application with them. So the application will just have your personal details, your circumstances, if you applied online. So the main question that stood out to me in the application was, what would happen if you didn't receive this? So in all honesty, we're all gonna be able to feed our kids some way or another you know it's going to happen but i think you need to really say actually if i don't have this x y and z is going to happen you know i'm not going to have money for food i'm not going to have money to pay for my electrics because that that is what they're really looking for you to say i mean everybody will be able to somehow manage to feed their children or themselves or even not themselves but their children but that, that's what they're kind of looking for so that that was really my advice to write something like that or if you're struggling you know just phone them up and speak to them on the phone so once you make an application they will email you um, and say that they just need a bit more information and that can you let them know when it's a good time to talk and somebody will phone you because Obviously, they don't want to phone you and you're in the middle of a public place or in front of people. You don't really want to talk about your personal circumstances um, in front of people or at work. Um, so you would email them back and say, yes, I'm ready to talk or you phone them. And then they just ask you for a little bit more information. Um, potentially, have you been affected by COVID or has anything in particular happened like a crisis or emergency? Um, what do you need the money for? Um, and then they will let you know on the phone and then they're, they're pretty good. They will send something out straight away um, for you to like a gift card code or something like that. And they will always send out more information on other services that could be available to you or food banks or support groups and things like that. Not even just with food, with appliances, because at the moment, as I said, they're not helping people with those particular things because they have to prioritise food and utilities but they will send you information on other places you can get help for example turn to us is really good and um, definitely have a look at them as well so
here just wanted to go over the gas and electric so of course we're all having a gas and electric crisis it's gone up for everybody um and it's affected a lot of families i'm really pushing families towards the poverty line um but with the um home essentials in a crisis fund they will only help with gas and electric for seven days um so it could be a prepaid meter i'm not sure how they would do it um with people that aren't on meters or paid by direct debit i will look into that um but the whole point of this is that it is a short-term fix and short-term support um obviously the cost the cost of living the energy crisis is going to be the reason that most people are applying for this and absolutely they take that into account but then they look at the long term how we're going to sort that out long term as well so if you do have any questions just drop me a comment i could talk about this for a long time there is so many ins and outs of this fund and um, but i just really want to get that awareness out there that that is available please look please see if you are eligible for this and please just try um even if they say like no you're not eligible it's just worth like 10 minutes of your time just to ask because 50 100 pound that's a week shopping um that really helps at the moment with all of the bills rising especially with fuel please please have a look please let me know if you have any questions please like this video please subscribe because i really want to make as many videos as i can with as much information as i can to save people lots of money um, and really scrutinize their outgoings and seeing where they can save and also seeing all the range of support that people are entitled to that have no idea so i will see you next time and i will have a new boiler so i apologize if you've been listening to my boiler it's new